welcome to leg four of the 2019 Event Rider Masters Series, which is here. Harad de Jardy, the most beautiful location just outside of Paris in France. The scene is very much set for an incredible weekend of competition. 30 of the world's best making the lineup, including eight of the world's top 20 ranked riders. The action kicks off with the dressage, which will all be taking place on Saturday, 11.15 Central European time. The first horse goes down the center line at 11.45, but join us for all of the build up before that from 11.15. Emmanuel Felt has with me, president of the International Eventing Show here in Jardy. Delighted to have you with us. We're gonna do the dressage draw now. So we're gonna pick the seeded order for the dressage and how this works is the average for up to the last five tests for each of our horses at this level of competition is taken. And then that gives us three groups of 10. So group A will be the group coming forward last. They have the best average in the field, group B, and we start off with group C. I'm going to let you start. Who will be getting us underway? Emmanuel, do the honours. Pick out the first combination to present to our ground jury. Drawn randomly in the groups of 10. And it is going to be for Germany, Nicholas Bushkora, Lord Sostakovich, who went double clear in uh, Arville just a few weeks ago. And then next to come forward, the only Polish representatives in the field, Maciuś Kiempa, Grand Supreme. And then it will be Tom McEwen, CHF Cool Eyeser. Tom has already been on Event Rider Masters podium once already this year. That was at Chatsworth with uh, Figaro Van Het Brooksoff. Can CHF Cool Eyeser do the same for him here in Jardy? And these are my dark horses to watch this weekend. Anna Katerina Vogel, DSP Quintana P. Very, very talented young combination and very good in the jumping phases in particular. Keep an eye out for them there. And then it will be Tom Crisp, Liberty and Glory. The combination that was sick at Poe in the five star last year. Tom will be next down the centre line. This mess so exceptionally talented. Homebred by the family as well. And then the man with real Jardy form. It is Karen Florin Laguag Punch Delesk who actually have some really good form here at Jardy as well. And Karen, 11 from 11 clear jumping rounds here at the venue. He'll be looking to continue that streak this weekend. Michael Young, the double Olympic champion, comes forward with Priva Cooley. He won here with Star Connection. That was back in 2017. Can he regain that title? next to come forward making her event rider masters debut one of two swiss, com swiss combinations in the field tiziana rialini and tiblu de Rouer coming forwards and then it will be one of my favorites from our veal just a few weeks ago during the cars esprit de la loge beautiful horse really did impress when finishing sixth on their event rider masters debut in our veal and then completing the first session of dressage, it is the defending champion. Alex Bragg comes forward with Alcatraz. He will be looking to get off to a very good start here. Scored a career personal best in the dressage here 12 months ago. He'd love to get anywhere close to that. So let's take a look at the first 10 combinations coming forward to present to our ground jury. Some big names in there, the likes of Michael Young. Keep an eye out for the defending champion, Alex Bragg, as well. So that is the first session of dressage, as I say, some big names in there. After the lunch break, getting us underway, it's about half past two Central European time. Emmanuel, do the honours. Who's going to be first to go after the lunch break? It will be Raphael Cochet, Sherazade de Louvier, made really good Nations Cup appearances for France. And then it will be Felix Vogg, Calero, the other Swiss combination in the field, a combination that was sick actually at Kentucky Five Star this spring. Could be dark horses for a good placing here. <laughs> and then Sydney de Flem, Trezor Mail for the home nation. They would, yeah, you're nodding. They've been a best placing of fourth in the Event Rider Masters series. Wants to keep a very close eye on this weekend. I think we could have a favourite here. Um, then it will be for Germany, your purple, Yozera's Entertain You. And next up, she's currently sitting second in the series. It is Janelle Price, Gravine that have big series points on offer for Janelle this weekend. She needs a big performance. And then it will be the 2003 European champion, Nicola Tuzon, Vendy Globe Jack coming forwards. And next up, 
He's an Olympic gold medalist. Arna Boato, Quariano, good at Jardy form as well. And then Sebastian Cavallon, Sarah Dargouge, a combination looking to impress the French selectors here. They've been top 15 at five star. Those European championships, of course, coming up a little bit later on this year in Le Moulin. And Camille Lejeune, Tahina Desil, his five star campaigner. And who will be the last combination in this session? It is the Event Ride Masters firm favourite, Sarah Cohen and Treason. They won in Wiesbaden a couple of years ago. Sarah currently sitting an equal third in the series as well. Big points on offer for her this weekend. So let's take a look at that second session of dressage and how the running order looks so far. Because as I say, some really big combinations coming forward throughout the day. And I'm sure we'll see some real challenging tests for that top spot in those riders. So these combinations coming forward now have the best average in the field. There's some big names in here, including the current series leader, Chris Burton. Juan Emmanuel, who will get his underway after that break? Well, it is Chris Burton. Lawtown Chloe, he was on the podium with the mayor in Wiesbaden. He is the series leader. A big performance here this weekend would really see him extend that lead. Then it is the young German rider, Felix Axel and Bandit. He's had some really good Nations Cup form with this horse, making his Event Rider Masters debut. And then Maxime Livio, Opium de Verrier. According to the Echo Ratings Eventing Prediction Centre, he's in with a good chance of a top five finish here this weekend. And of course, his ride from the World Equestrian Games last year. Then Izzy Taylor comes forward with spring power. Izzy on the podium here 12 months ago. That was with Be Touchable. Already had a top 10 finish in the series so far with spring power at Chatsworth so far this year. And then it is Gemma Tattersall. Quick look, the fifth. They've the best dressage average in the field. A quite remarkable 23. They are going to be the firm favourites to be leaders after this first phase. And for the home nation, Thibaut Vallette, King de Brio, a combination who were on the Event Rider Masters podium at the first ever leg back at Chats with 2016. Can they repeat that feat here in Jardy 2019? Emily King and Brooklyn don't discount this combination this weekend. The horse has had some time off, but they were on the podium at Bramham just a few weeks ago and very, very talented in all three phases of competition. So three combinations left to go. Laura Collett, De Capo, she was the series leader going into Arville just a few weeks ago. She'll be looking for redemption after problems on the cross country, but De Capo, a horse with very good form this season. And it is the Arville champion, Tim Price, the world number one. He comes forward with Sue Benson's Falco, a horse really stepping up to the mark here in Shardy. Keep an eye out for them this weekend. And finally, finishing. The dressage, it will be Bill Levitt, Shannon Dale, Titan. What a way to conclude. They are favourites in the Event Rider Masters series and everybody would dearly love to see them get on another podium. They've had good top 10 finishes here in Jardy over the last couple of years. They would love to see another one as well. Well, that is how the running order looks for the first of the three phases here in leg four of the Event Rider Masters. Let's take a look because there are big names all the way through the running order. Michael Young, Kruva Cooley, keep an eye out for those in the first session. Then Sarah Cohen, Treason, the last to go in the second session of dressage. And of course, Chris Burton, Lawtown, Chloe, can he extend that series lead? We are jam packed full of some of the world's best here in Jardy, and we hope that you'll be able to join us for all of the action. Thank you to Emmanuel, and we hope that you will join us. EventRiderMasters.tv live and free, and we'll be bringing you all of the action across the weekend. We'll see you then.